introduce it. Moon Water Breakthrough. NASA finds evidence of water forming on the moon. Tom Fish Express UK reports that there's water's presence on the moon finally been explained. U.S. Space Agency NASA announces what they've done to ascertain this. Scientists have long puzzled over the presence of water on the moon, but uh, a groundbreaking new NASA study finally provided conclusive proof of water formation on the moon. It appears solar winds and micrometeorites peppered the lunar surface react, uh, to react with minerals, leading to the formation of water. NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite L-Cross has previously suggested the existence of water ice on the moon's poles, but the origin of this water has until now remained a mystery. What put the water on the moon? The question of lunar water's origin is not only of academic interest. Water represents one of the key requirements for permanent colonization of the moon as a feedstock for fuel energy generation as well as drinking water. Deuterium ions were used in a laboratory proxy for solar wind protons. Chen Zhu, who was involved in the study, said deuterium irradiated only experiments did not reveal any trace of water formation even after increasing the temperature to lunar mid-latitude daytime temperatures. But when we warmed the sample, we detected molecular deuterium, suggesting that deuterium, or hydrogen, implanted from the solar wind, can be stored in the lunar rock. Professor Ralph Kaiser added, therefore, another high-energy source might be necessary to trigger water formation within the moon's minerals, followed by its release as a gas that can be detected. Now, the second set of deuterium irradiation experiments was followed by a laser heating to simulate the thermal effects of micrometeorite impacts. A burst of ions with a mass to charge ratios matching that of singly ionized heavy water was observed in the gas phase during the laser pulses. Mr. Zhu said, water continued to be produced during laser pulses after the temperature was increased, suggesting that the olivine was storing precursors to heavy water that were released by laser heating. That's amazing. To uh, image these processes and interpret the broader impact on the moon and other bodies, Hawaii's Institute of Geophysics and Planetary Researchers, HIGP, used focused ion beam scanning electron microscopy and transmission electron microscopy. They found tiny pits, some partially covered by lids, suggesting that water vapor built up under the surface until they burst, releasing water from lunar silicates upon micrometeorite impacts. Overall, this study advances our understanding on the origin of water as detected on the moon and other airless bodies in our solar system, such as mercury and asteroids, and provides for the first time, a scientifically sound and proven mechanism of water formation. This is according to HIGP's Jeffrey Gills Davis concluded. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. 
in Capotá. We also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.